why Air Asia opened so many routes in sa ano in one ano lang parang big bang yeah 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 um last April 22 we started um six new uh, flights okay. um we have three flights from Davao and one from Cebu um it's exciting because we're going out of Manila I think we're looking at uh, markets expanding markets outside Manila um and the promising destinations, of course, are Cebu and Davao. Mm -hmm. um, for Davao, we launched um, Davao Clark, Davao Boracay, which is in Katiklan, diretso sa Katiklan, and then Davao Palawan, and Davao Cebu, which um, which uh, flies twice daily for Cebu, and then daily for Palawan and Boracay, and then for Clark, um, four times weekly. Um, let me start with Davao Clark. It's very interesting because um, actually our theme is from highlands to islands. So actually we're, we're, we're trying to connect northern Luzon to south, uh, to Mindanao. And right now we're in Baguio. Um, Baguio is a wonderful destination for our travelers from, from Davao, from the south. You know, if you want uh, to get away from the heat, if you want to spend your summer in a much colder place, I think Baguio and up north, even the Cordillera, uh, Sagada, Kalinga, um, are, are wonderful places to go. Um, and um, with that, we're trying to push with um, Davao Clark. You know, the Clark uh, being maybe two hours away from Manila will give you an option na walang traffic, walang hassle sa airport because it's very it's very convenient for for backpackers for travelers those who don't want the traffic and the the, the weather in manila na sobrang mainit mm -hmm. uh, you have an option to go to clark um double clark four times weekly and then from clark it's actually a gateway to northern luzon already uh, you can go surfing in la union you can go of course in baguio explore the food and the sceneries here you can go to uh, Pangasinan for beach. Uh, I heard there's so many new uh, beach places in Bolinao. I think we're, we're gonna do that next time. Um, what else? Um, if, if you want to go to Bulacan, of course, Pampanga being the culinary capital, it's also yes. an interesting destination. Uh, ano yung nakikita nyo? Anong target market nyo? Of course, considering you may mga uh, nauna na sa inyo. Ano, mm -hmm. ano yung classic market ang pina-target um, Air Asia has always been uh, um, innovative when it comes to providing our services and our flights. So, uh, initially we're targeting, of course, millennials, uh, mga, those who are, you know, who love to travel, the backpackers. But you see a lot of families also taking taking our flights. Uh, considering that our destinations are parang mga uh, key destinations for tourism lang eh. So we don't have other destinations. We cannot fly to other destinations like Batanes yet because mm -hmm. the, the airport is kind of small pa for our bigger plane, for, for our big planes. But uh, target um, anyone, but mostly the the young millennial backpackers and of course the family. And um, interestingly, we also have packages and attractive um, services for our SMEs, mga businessmen na, uh, who travels a lot, especially for Davao. And daming mga SMEs dyan, eh. So we, we we call it a premium flex, wherein you can actually book once lang, and then you can rebook three times for free. So, for instance, nagkaro ka ng meeting sa Manila or anywhere, you can buy the premium flex ticket uh, and then rebook it as often as you want for three times. Walang bayad. So, walang extra charge, walang rebooking fees. So, very convenient for small businessmen. You know, start pa lang. We wanted to support them so that they can grow their business and and thereafter, yun, parang ma-enjoy nila yung parang opportunity na Ang mahal kasi pag nag-rebook ka, di ba? Yes, so it's exactly. very convenient. It's actually not just for businessmen, but there mga estudyante or professors who travel a lot. Yeah. So, uh, in the near future, could we see more destinations opening up, especially outside of the country? Uh, for international destination, um, we did Cebu, Taipei. Uh, we have Cebu, KL. We have Cebu, Korea. And then, and then we're trying to feed this route with 
by establishing Davao Cebu. So we're looking at Davaoenos flying to Cebu and then thereafter connect to KL, Singapore, Taipei, initially pa lang. And then maybe when we have more planes, we only have like 17 now and we're, we're expecting to expand to 25 uh, aircraft within the next uh, three to five years. So uh, our CEO was in Cebu, I was in Davao the last time and he said he wanted to park some of those planes in Davao. And if you park a plane in, in, in Davao, for instance, you have to uh, introduce a lot of new flights and new destinations. So let's look, let's look at three to five years and then we'll do more international destination from Davao. All right.